Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can check our power levels and replace batteries on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the shift key that looks like this located here, and the on off key that looks like this located here. An important thing to know about this calculator is that it is not a solar calculator. That means we need to be aware of the battery levels and when to replace them. We can check our battery levels in the main menu screen. To do that we press the menu key and then we see here in the top right hand corner is the battery symbol. On mine it's full bars all three are dark, that means it has full batteries. As it gets used up, you'll see those bars disappear. It's recommended to replace your batteries when you're down to one bar here. Let's say I'm down to one bar here and I have a test coming up. Now's a good time to replace the batteries. First thing to do is make sure we have the batteries we need to replace them. This calculator takes four AAA batteries and you can find these pretty much anywhere that sells batteries. If we have our replacement batteries and we're ready to change them, the first thing we want to do is make sure our calculator is turned off. Leaving it on could cause the calculator to malfunction or we could lose data from the memory. To turn it off, we press the shift key and then the on key with the shift function of off. There we go, our calculator goes off and it's safe to change the batteries. What we want to do is take our calculator, take it out of the case, turn it over, and then put it upside down in the case so that it protects the on-off key so that we don't accidentally turn it on while changing our batteries. Now I'll take my batteries out of the package Now we can take the battery cover off on the back of our calculator, that's this down here. Just push that in and lift. And then we'll see our batteries here. Pay attention to which way they're going, positive to negative, we need to replace them the exact same way. You might find it useful to have some sort of a pen or a pointy object for taking out the batteries, you can put it in here. And then just pop them out. There's our old batteries. And now we can go ahead and put our new ones in. Again, paying attention to the positive and negative sides. And there we go, they're all in. We pop our cover back on. And we can turn it back over. And turn our calculator back on. And there we go, it works. And we have full batteries. Thanks for watching everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And, as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.